Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm with Rocco. We're off property at a local park. Sorry, I forgot my sunglasses and I'm sensitive to the light, so I squint a lot. Anyway, this is my first time working with him without Josh. We pretty much transferred all the leadership over to me and then I'm gonna be transferring it over to his owner in about a week. One of the things they complained about was his heel. He didn't know how to walk on a leash. He was barking, he was pulling, his hair would raise at any noise. The best thing for a dog like that is to be given a job and that is the heel command. So we say heel, we tap our tone, we start moving, and then we use our stem to hold our dog into position. So if he starts veering ahead, I say no, tap my stem. If he starts lagging behind, I can tap my tone. If he starts lagging to the left, I move to the right and tap my stem. Keeps him in this beautiful position and leaves no energy for barking, pulling, raised hair, because he's so focused on being in that command. Now we've already done bumping into boundaries where we set him free, we don't give a command, we see what his organic response is. That way there's no anxiety left in the heel command, right? And look, he can do this off leash. The leash is just there for the leash laws, but the, all the training is on the e-collar. So let's see if he's with me. Good. Very nice. Very good. Sit. Good boy. I am going to flip the camera around and show you his stay commands. And, and we're about to walk by some people here, which would have caused barking in the past before training, especially with his stranger danger. But with the heel command, he's so focused on staying by my leg, he's got no choice but to ignore the people and keep in command. Good boy, Rocco. Notice how I'm turning, he's staying with me. Perfect heel position. Sit, good. Down, tell him down, he should lay down and stay no matter what's going on around him. I love that he chooses to go into that relaxed space with his chin on the ground, the double down. We're gonna do a tone only recall which to get him to you, you're just gonna tap this T button. He's, he should come over here. He should sit her down somewhere right at my feet where he gets praised. Good boy. What a beautiful, beautiful job that was. He comes and gets praised. Stay. Now from here, I can either tell him to stay and walk away. Maybe I need to pick up poop. Maybe I need to get mail. Maybe I need to talk to somebody or I could start him moving in a heel. So I'm going to tap my tone, say heel, and start walking. Heel. And now we're moving again. Now let me show you a little trick. If he starts to be pushy with his heel, which a lot of dogs like to be, where he starts to creep up, because I like them behind. What I'm going to do is turn my remote up a little bit. I'm going to start walking fast on purpose, and then I'm going to abruptly slow down. If he jets past me, I press and hold the remote, and then I repeat that until I can't get him to do that. So I'm gonna walk fast. Oh, I can't get him to make the mistake. Heel, but that means he's paying attention. But right there, I'm clicking, and he moves himself back into position. It's because we're walking by the car, and he wants to get in the car. See how that works? And now he's paying attention extra, and he's behind me. Another thing you can do is stop, and if he doesn't sit, click the remote. Heel. But that heel position is just beautiful. Even as we're by a busy pool, there's lots of kids and noises up there. There's cars driving by. We even saw some people walking by. And I've got my dog in just this perfect off heel. More control than 95% of other people who have their dogs on a leash in a public place. Sit. Good. Stay. That's a good choice. He knows I'm going to tell him to stay, so he lays down. Now let's see if I can get that double down just by clicking the remote. Okay? 
that's a 10 and he puts his chin to the ground okay that's how that training is awesome i didn't even have to say anything all right let's give him a release here rocco break yay Sorry, we're turning around. That's all right. Good boy, Rocco. Okay, we're gonna finish our trip by politely getting into the car. So I have him in a sit stay. I'm gonna open up the trunk. He doesn't just get to jump in on his own. He has to wait for permission. Place. Good boy. He gets in, he lays down where he's gonna stay for the duration of the ride. What a good boy. Yes. 